the all the the one dote will push him off. These bur these cavorts get a damage bonus against medium range, and they're fighting long range and short range. And a griffin. One explosion. It was an invisible explosion. Oh wow, and now Fuzzy's going to learn that he can't mine from here. For the first time. Over here, how's Borg development? He's getting an incubation center early, which I like that. A lot of people wait until they have a hundred supply left, but this one's so much more economical to get it or to get one or two early. Because he can afford to. He's got dodes coming up. Nothing's gonna kill those dodes. And Fuzzy finds out about this, and uh, Rainbow Killer is just going to come in and slaughter his home mining. That's how you do it. This thing, yeah, it's only a temporary annoyance, but that temporary annoyance is what they need to kill everything. And there's a sphere I entirely missed, by the way. So now we've got uh, Rainbow Killer and Comp are doing a really good job of supporting each other here. Going after each other's enemies when the Borg just have a better advantage. You know, the Romulans can raid better, they just go over and raid this side. The Borg are better at defending, so they go over and defend the Romulans. It's the circle of life. Ironically, well, kind of ironically, you can see how the races that are most dissimilar from each other are the ones that support each other the best. Yeah, this relay is actually going to go down, and Fuzz is going to lose every single miner he owns. And he's getting dangerously close to his lock point, where he can't build new miners. You can only get, what, two, three miners out of that? And if this mining station goes down, he is very deeply in trouble. He does have a warp in. And he's learning a valuable lesson about how to kill a, how to kill a relay. I wonder, is this a battleship? Because the dode damage is extra small, less to battleships. It isn't less to large ships. So, like, the large cruiser still takes full damage. Oh, okay, I think he decommed here. There's a warp in. Yeah. Excelsiors. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is not safe. Not a safe place to mine. Poor Zap is not having a fun time. <laughs> He's getting hit from both sides. Over and over. Yeah, he sees that. He's decomming. He'll get the money back from that. Fuzzy has... No mining whatsoever. He's building monsoons. And he's going to lock himself out. He did kill the relay. His Irati yard simply cannot build. He just doesn't have the money. Oh, he does have a t whole ton of miners, though. He just can't send them. Here come the Borg. I don't know where this Klingon fleet went. Oh, they're waiting for this to go into a relay. Oh, that's tough. I don't know if they should go defend. Oh, there it goes. They can kill it. They can kill it and then go back home and defend. It's dead. Go home and defend. The feds have actually been doing a very good job of keeping you alive. <laughs> Ooh. Saying losing engines. Quick, tractor it right there. Just tractor, tractor. It's dead. damage to small. 
Although, he can actually push this off. Not because he could do anything at all to the sphere, but he can hurt the dode. Ah, uh, no. I think Rainbow Killer should probably split these guys up. Decloak them, get some special energy back. Go over and just snipe every miner. These Lavals can just fly in here and meta D these and then fly out without even worrying about the Starbase if they have special energy. Which they don't. What'd he get? No, didn't get any weapons with that. And he is taking Starbase fire. I don't foresee this Griffin dying. Yeah, exactly. This Laval, actually, maybe. These guys all have advanced energy reeling. Which I recently discovered. Not only is amazing because it gives you the increased stats. When it turns on, it resets your weapons, which means you get the uh, Romulan 30% rate of fire bonus again. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Ah! Um, and then when it disables again, it gives it to you again, so it really ups your firepower. It also increases the damage of your, you know, the repair rate of your repair and meta D, which, uh, so that if you had not used energy reeling, it's the same effect as if you did, to make up for the energy that it cost. However, if your ship is ranked up or a veteran, that means that you get much more effect uh, if your energy reeling is on. But the last and most important thing is, with energy reeling on, uh, cloak costs no energy. <laughs> it's Klingon cloak. So normally, you have to watch out when you auto repair because if you auto repair down to zero health, zero energy, you can't cloak. But with energy reeling, you can auto repair all the way down and cloak. So over here, these spheres are not going to die. Two spheres significantly outmatches this army, this fleet. He needs to use a warp in and bring this warp in over. He'd only get two ships out of that. One, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, yeah. He'd only get two ships out of a warp in, but he needs it. He needs Intrepids, and he needs all of his ships in one place. But, like I say, he's learning. Meanwhile, Rainbow Killer deciding, oh, I've got a massive fleet of ships that I haven't been using. So he's going to come in and wipe the floor with everything. Oh, and Zap coming in doing a very good job of supporting. And he's going to get punished for it. There goes the sensor jammer. Don't know how many it got, but... Didn't seem to get any attack. Any offensive subs. The spear is not going to die. You see a griffin escaping. Okay, now the spear could die. Probably not, though. I don't think any Romulan ships are dying. As long as this firepower is focused on the sphere. We see... Hey, something got into that... Never mind. Where did the sphere go? <laughs> He's gonna kill the mining. Yeah, Fuzzy gives the GG. Comp has massive in massive resources. He could get a diamond soon. Or just another spear. Or mo most importantly, another rank of uh, nodes, energy nodes. His supply hasn't really dipped down because he hasn't built too much. He's got two ink chambers. <laughs> Zap is a little bit upset that he didn't get the support he needed in the beginning. So he's decided, I want to win at least one battle this game. Just one. Just one.
Tom was planning on going for a cube, and I guess he does sort of have numbers. Oh, I see. I think uh, his ally gave him a bit of supply. Those collective connections come really slowly, though. You really, you can't plan on getting a cube if you don't have a ton of those. He needs 40 more. But that would have been something. And here come the Borg to help Zap out. Because we don't have a problem with that. These Katingas have lost their short-term energy boost. Turn this into a smorgasbord. And here come the Romulans, not to be left out of anything. Once the battle is guaranteed to be won, the Romulans refuse to be left out. So I do think Fuzzy learned in this game, and that's the most important thing. I may need to change my volume levels though. I will let you go. I'll let you guys know how that turns out. I also need to check my recording, learn how to actually process these and upload them to YouTube. But I hope this is the beginning of a very beautiful friendship between me and Fraps. Wait, oh, it was cap- oh, that's the one that was captured a long time ago. Yeah, that actually survived. Uh, this fleet could really use a Singularity Generix. It's also big enough to kill anything. Like, these two- this fleet here, this Romulan fleet, could kill these two spheres. Fuzzy and Zap seem determined to kill Fuzzy. Weapons control down. For at least a second. Here we see a veteran Laval. With its oodles of energy. Oh, don't try to board the station. Just freaking kill it. <laughs> uh, Camp went ahead and got his cube. It's so exciting. 80 seconds. Why? Oh, that's the station boarding the sphere. <laughs> It has more crew, though. <laughs> uh, but as long as that's boarding, it won't attack. Kill it! Romulans, get an intelligence center. Start hunting down random units. It looks like they're gonna stick around and we're gonna get to see a cube. But more importantly, I'm going to get to talk about a cube in order to entertain you. One thing I'd like to point out real quick that I sort of missed earlier, but there are scouts everywhere. Romulan scouts. Everywhere. There's also Klingon scouts. Quite well positioned. We've got three, four Klingon scouts. Five, no, that's... Yeah. Four Klingon scouts and one, two, three, four Romulan scouts and a Decloki scout. I am terrible with this. I don't build enough scouts. These guys have scouts everywhere. And here's the uh, 